Hi, Abby. Hi, Miss. Oh, how are you today? Is there anything new? I'm very happy today. I went to the cinema with my friends to watch the movie Minions. Oh, that's great. Minions is such an interesting and cute movie to watch and relax. Uh, okay, I think we can start the lesson now. Oh, wait. Before we learn the lesson, I want to remind you that if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me by turning on the microphone or typing in the chat box. Okay? À, nếu em có câu hỏi hay thắc mắc gì thì em có thể em đừng ngại ngần mà hãy hỏi cô bằng cách là bật mic lên để nói hoặc là em có thể gõ vào phần chat box nhé. Yes, thank you. Okay, good. Now we can start the lesson. Uh, I believe that you have prepared for the lesson very carefully at home. So tell me, what is the topic of the lesson today? It's sports, losing and winning. Yes, it's true. Very good. Now let's start the lesson. Okay. The first activity, what you must do is to name these sports people and their sports in the pictures. Okay. The first picture, uh, he's very famous. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him. He's Lionel Messi, an Argentina footballer. Oh, an Argentinian footballer. He's very famous. The second one. Usain Bond is a Jamaican athlete. Yeah. He runs very fast. The third yeah. picture. Lewis Hamilton is a British Formula One. Oh. Uh, he's is famous in his field, motor racing. And the yeah. last one, who is she? Uh, Caroline. Uh, is a tennis tennis player. Yes, true. Oh wow! I think you must care about sports very much, so that you can yeah. answer all the questions correctly. Yeah, yes. I'm a big fan of sports. Wow! So, uh, tell me about your favorite sport. Can you? Yeah, I yes. am into uh, playing soccer wow. and football. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, is it considered as the king of the sport? Uh, every many pers people in the world uh, like this sport, and I'm not an exception. Uh, the reason why I like this sport is because it's uh, help to recharge my batteries after a hard working day and it's good for my health. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yes. Well, very good. Now, I think it's enough for the first task. The second task is similar to the first one, but now you just only have to name the guess the name of the sport no sports people anymore the first one oh is, <laughs> is surfing yeah it's on the screen <laughs> okay yeah. the second one is fencing mean no game oh yes no game oh the, what's about surfing in vietnamese what does it mean uh, I think it means uh, lướt sóng. Yes, lướt sóng. Này, cái đầu, cái tư là, cái đầu tiên là surfing, lướt sóng. Cái thứ hai là fencing, đầu kiếm. Đây là hai môn thể thao nó khá là không quá là phổ biến với mọi người. Ít ai có thể chơi được hai môn này. Uh, do you play yeah. these sports? Oh no, I don't play those sports. Yes. Okay. The third one. It's a volleyball in Vietnamese. It is bóng chuyền. Yeah, volleyball. Uh, many Vietnamese people play volleyball. Yeah. 
uh, the first one is snowboarding in Vietnamese. It means uh, trượt tuyết. Yes. Cái môn thể thao này thì nó khá thú vị nhưng mà chỉ những cái nước mà có tuyết và mùa đông thì người ta mới chơi môn này phải không? Ở Việt Nam thì can we uh, play yeah. this sport in Việt Nam? No, but I wish I could play it. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Uh, number five, what is this sport? Mm, I think it's hockey. Yeah, hockey. In Vietnamese, it means... Khúc côn cầu. Khúc côn cầu. Cái môn này nó cũng lạ phải không? Nó lạ với nhiều người Việt Nam. Yeah. Mình cũng chưa thấy người ta chơi khúc côn cầu ngoài đời bao giờ. Nên là ở Việt Nam chắc là hiếm lắm. Oh, okay, the next one. Boxing. Boxing. Đấm bốc. Yeah, đấm bốc. Uh, the next one. Uh, baseball. Yeah. Bóng chày. Bóng chày. Baseball appears a lot uh, in many movies, many dramas. Uh, do you watch, have you watched any drama which is about baseball? Yeah, I have watched a lot, mostly from American drama. Yes. Okay, very good. The last one. Uh, basketball. Basketball. In Vietnamese, it means... Bóng rổ. Bóng rổ, đúng rồi. Basketball. Cái môn này thì học sinh cấp 3 chơi rất là nhiều. Uh, do you... Okay, okay. Now, I have a question for you. Uh, in your opinion, which sports do Vietnamese students usually do or play in their free time? I think it is volleyball or football. Uh, oh, and yes, I agree. I totally agree with your opinion. And I also think that uh, Vietnamese students love playing basketball. Yeah. Yeah. We... I love to, even though I cannot play. <laughs> yes. Uh, basketball will help you to be taller, I guess. No, I'm not tall, even though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I it's... really love, even though I really love this sport, but I'm yeah. not tall. Yeah. So basketball players are very handsome. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. The next part, we will learn about some verbs that we can use when talking about sports. They are play, go, and do. Now, the first verb, play. We normally use play with team sports at ball sports. Chúng ta có thể uh, dùng cái động từ play này với những uh, môn thể thao đồng đội hoặc là những môn thể thao mà dùng bóng ấy ví dụ như là play badminton là môn gì nhỉ à, môn uh, cầu lông đúng rồi cầu lông uh, now can you add two more sports to this group yeah it's the first one is play baseball yeah. and play basketball yeah very good now yes I also have play football now so second book go yeah uh, we use go with sports ending in ing, uh, such, as, uh, such as go cycling. Chúng ta dùng go với những cái uh, môn thể thao mà kết thúc với đuôi ing nhé. Uh, so, again, name two sports. Go snowboarding, go yeah. surfing. Yeah, very good. Là chơi môn gì nhỉ? Uh, chơi môn uh, trượt tuyết với lại lướt sóng. Đúng rồi. And I have go skiing and go rowing. Là skiing là trượt tuyết và rowing là chèo thuyền. Now, the last word, do. We use do with individual sports, not ending in in. Chúng ta dùng do với những cái môn thể thao cá nhân, individual, mà không kết thúc với in. Tuy nhiên là note, we use do with combat sports. Even if they end in in, tức là sao? Chúng ta lúc nãy là bảo là gì? Dùng cho những cái môn thể thao cá nhân mà không kết, không kết thúc là in nhưng mà với những cái môn mà combat sports 
cái môn thể thao đối kháng ấy mà kết thúc lại in thì mình vẫn có thể dùng do ok à uh, so yeah. name two sports in this group do fencing do karate yeah that's very good à uh, in vietnamese it means à uh, chơi đấu kiếm và võ karate đúng rồi and i have do athletics and do fencing here Ok, very good. Oh, your performance exceeds my expectation today. Now. Thank you, I prepared well. Yeah, ok. Uh, now we go to the last part. Oh, it's very easy for you. Matching with some words here. Let it now. Ok, oh, the first question, yeah. Is uh, you can you can uh, see that as an uh, example. A competitors, the people who take part in an event. Now, the next one, compete. B matches with to compete with match with or uh, one to take part in a competition. Nghĩa là gì nhỉ? Uh, tham gia vào một cái giải ừ, đúng rồi một cái cuộc thi nào đấy uh, uh, C cards uh, uh, five the rules of race đúng rồi yes well done D champion uh, D win uh, 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 I I think it's hmm. three The winner of a mm. competition or event. Rồi. In Vietnamese, it means nhà vô địch. Và nhà vô địch. E tournament matches with uh, E tournament match with a uh, two a sports competition. Đúng rồi. Đó là gì nhỉ? Giải đấu. Đúng rồi, giải đấu. Và hay cuối cùng F World Record It is I think it's matched with for the best time distance score ETC ever Right Even I miss what does it mean? It means kỷ lục thế giới Đúng rồi, kỷ lục thế giới Ôi, tuyệt vời You have answered all the questions correctly You must yeah, prepare you. for the lesson very carefully. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yes. Now, it's time for reviewing the lesson. These are some pictures on the screen. And uh, can you see my mouse pointer? Yeah, I can see that. Uh, okay. Uh, have a quick look at the pictures and now I will point at some items on the screen and you will say aloud the words or the phrases now let's start the first one tournament yes the second one uh, snowboarding yes next play yes very good here Competitor. Excellent. Here. Boxing. And now the last one, the last one. Which item? Here. Uh, fencing. I think it's the end of the lesson today. Oh, well. Abby, hôm nay uh, Abby rất là giỏi nhé. Trả lời đúng hầu như tất cả các câu hỏi chúng tỏ là Abi chuẩn bị bài rất là kỹ này, cô rất là vui, bởi vì uh, Abi rất là chăm chú học bài, trời ơi vui lắm luôn. Uh, nhưng mà tận đến giờ rồi cũng phải chia tay nhau. So thank you for your attention. I send you the homework. Yeah. And, yeah. No, yeah. <cười> mm, so I don't like this part. <cười> <cười> so see you next time. Goodbye. See you, teacher. Yeah. Goodbye, miss. Yes. Bye.